They come in various appearances, dirty, shabby and haggard. These children live on the streets begging for arms. They are products of many factors, including poverty, broken homes, irresponsible parents and armed conflicts. They are either oblivious to the dangers of living on the streets or just can't be bothered. Even when the deadly COVID-19 was wrecking havoc, they went about their daily routine with reckless abandon. Their numbers rather multiplied when COVID-19 hit the country and schools were subsequently closed. Some said they had come to socialize and make some money before school resumed. Many motorists consider them a nuisance, especially as they pester them for arms. In 2019, Ghana recorded more than 90,000 street children. Some of them come from other parts of Africa, such as Chad, Niger and Ethiopia, to seek greener pastures with their family. The state has not abandoned them. Over the years, the Department of Social Welfare and the Gender Ministry have made efforts to get them off the busy and dangerous streets. But nothing deters them from returning to the streets. The airport junction traffic light in Accra is a hotspot for nine-year-old Miram Salisu, who has been on the streets almost all her life. She told the news team that even on a bad day, she made between 15 and 20 Ghana cities and 40 to 50 cities on a good day. She said she used the revenue generated from the arms to cater for her younger siblings who are seven in number. I was a Friday and Sunday. Sometimes we are 20, sometimes we are 40. The story is no different for Fusena, who could not express herself in any Ghanaian language. She refused to speak on camera. Rabi Sani, a 16-year-old girl, was seen with her baby on the streets. She said business was not lucrative during the COVID-19 because most of the good Samaritans refused to talk to them. They kept social distance. <laughs> According to the social welfare online portal, a total of 71 child beggars were taken off the streets of Accra in 2018. Out of the number, 17 were reintegrated with their families, while the remaining 54 were placed under various shelters in Accra. Between January and February this year, a total of 19 children were picked from various streets in the capital and taken to the Social Welfare Vocational Training Center at Somanya in the Eastern Region for skills development and training under a project dubbed Operation Get Off the Streets for a Better Life. This was spearheaded by the Ministry of Gender, Children and Social Protection. As at October 2019, about 2,400 street children had been taken off the streets from 45 hotspots in Accra. However, a number of them still roam the streets. As the world battles with the novel coronavirus, the safety of these children is a matter of public concern.